read back uh, to me the list that you've made since we started this call, please? Okay. I think now it has sizable fan base. I just uh, I had permission for Simon Shu, but then it was withdrawn, and I did not admit to, uh, and I admit, admit, admit Simona was not mine. Admit anything to Simona article. Yeah, I haven't gave permission, but withdrew it, gone against his wishes. No Simona. Apologize to Alex for calling him naive. Apologize to Mel for giving this blessing. Apologize for stealing Asper Chu and parodic characters. And uh, my cop, a comic page displaying all that with more apologies. And I just apologize to you for uh, pretending to be my mother to end the call early and admit showing you. Okay, good. That's good so far. Um, I'd also like you to apologize for insinuating that I keep female prisoners in my basement and use them as a unwilling harem and rape them because I don't do anything of the sort. That's just creepy. I don't... I don't know where you got that idea. I mean, I can kind of see some of the other complaints that you had were based on, you know, like, direct misunderstanding of things, but, but the, you know, me raping female prisoner things. That just, that that came out of love field. Where'd you get yeah, that idea? Okay, well, okay. Well, actually... No, uh, I never said I never used the word rape. You just had them in prison and you treat them like hamsters. You did not rape them. What do you mean I treat them said, like hamsters? You know, just keep them in cages, giant hamster wheels, giant water bottles, and food pellets. Okay. Um, even if you didn't use the word rape. What do you think people, what do you think the impression is people are going to get when you suggest that someone keeps female prisoners in their basement? They're going to think that um, said prisoners are being raped by their captor. And I mean, that seems like a pretty obvious insinuation, even if you don't use the word directly. Okay. Uh, all right, anything else after that? Um, I am still trying to think. Um, you know, I I apologize for for seeming like I'm beating a dead horse, but I I am a little suspicious that you seem so agreeable because um, in all our previous correspondences, you've been um, you know insulting, rude, or manipulative, or a combination thereof. But now it seems like you know you're you're just rearing to go with this. Are you sure you're just not trying to finish the phone call with me quickly? Cause, no, like I'm not trying to finish anything. Okay. I mean, I'm not trying to finish this phone call. I want to put this to rest. Okay, well, good. Because like I said, if you do all these things perfectly, as I say, um, then yeah. my, my ads will go away. Um, no. but, if, but if you make a video and you're missing anything, or if you deliberately contradict something... Um, or if I feel like you are trying to pull a fast one on me and weasel out of something, then the ads are going to get worse. Because at this point, okay. I do have to assume that anything that goes wrong is a deliberate um, evil intent on your part. Let's see. Do you, I mean, that's a okay. fair assumption for me to make, don't you think? Considering how much you, you have, bullied you and have, to you me. have the right, you have the right to make that assumption. Okay. Okay. Well, good. Oh, excuse me, just a second. Okay. okay. Sorry about that. I'm back. Um, All right. Can I ask you why you think the word naive is so horrible? Not only does the word sound like nails on nails on a chalkboard when one says it, but also it questions one's intelligence and experience. 
in life. I, I think it actually only questions experience. It's not about intelligence. Yeah, but, yeah, but yeah, but experience versus knowledge is still implied. The knowledge part. Well, no, knowledge is different from intelligence. Yeah, but also similarly, it can't sound like you know calling somebody stupid or worse than that. Well, you know, no pun intended here, but if you if you believe that, then I think you kind of are naive. I mean, because that that you you don't have a you know, an understanding of the word. I looked it up in a dictionary, and I have the understanding of the word. I, I don't know what dictionary you looked up that suggested it's a direct questioning of one's intelligence. I mean, let me look it up on uh, an online dictionary here. Um, let's see. Lacking experience or... Or judgments. That's really not about intelligence. And um, I am still kind of bothered that you know you think it's such a horrible insult, but you wanted to use it on me. Mm. Okay, and well, you, you happily. Though, you, you, okay, well, still, in my defense, though, you did tell me to. You did say, "Well, call me naive" during that particular conversation. Um. You know, that's just a turn of phrase, right? I wasn't actually asking you to call me naive. Okay. Well, you gave me the opportunity, so that's my defense right there. You I should... Agree to disagree on that. You should exercise some personal responsibility, though, because, you know, you think naive okay. is such a horrible thing. Like, have you ever heard the phrase, uh, just shoot me? Like, you know, if someone's frustrated, they'll say, just shoot me. I mean, if someone said that in your presence, would you feel, you know, okay with, well, I'll just pull out a gun and shoot him? No, not ne- no, I would not necessarily shoot them. Not necessarily. Does that mean you'd consider it? Mm. No, I would not shoot them at all. Well, I should hope not. I mean, you've shot people in your comic before. I hope you wouldn't shoot them in real life. Indeed. Anyway, uh, all right, so anything else from this video or, I mean, because, you know, aside from what I read to you before, I apologize for labeling you as having female prisoners in your basement and raping. Um, yes, uh, there's another item. I'd like you to admit that you don't have a good excuse to not upload pages every day. I mean, I think that's correct, right? You don't have a job. You don't go to school. I have both, you know, school and a job, and I upload every day. Yeah. In my defense, though, actually, yesterday, I actually went on a nice uh, day with a nice girl, and it was a, it was a great day. It could have not gone better. Oh. Um, what was the date? Like, all day? I mean... It wasn't like in the morning, was it? You could have uploaded in the morning. Yeah, well, I, wa- yeah, well, I was not up in the morning. Um, you didn't have, you know, any time. What time did you wake up? How long do you sleep? I got, yeah, I got about eleven. Well, that's and I had late. to go out. And I had to go, and I actually had to go out to uh, run a couple of errands. I had to go to the grocery store. And also, I have to get my family some antifreeze for their car. Okay. Well, I I have chores. And, course, and, course, and, and then with, and then with that, I also had to take a shower, and make make myself fully ready for the date. Um, you know, when I when I shower and, and clean myself up, that takes like twenty minutes. I I. I, like I said, I have a job in school, and I have errands to do, and I go out with people, and I go on dates, and I still make sure I upload every day. I mean, Sonichu is your – think of think of it this way. Sonichu is going to be your big franchise. That's what's going to make you money, right? Um, so you, you should treat it like it is your, your day-to-day job. Yeah. And yeah. You, when was the last day that you uploaded a page? It's been about a week, hasn't it? I mean, even if you had, well, you know, it might, it might just, 